now i am going to explain you how you can make use of our option strategy software the manual edition software which we have just come with so this software you can manually form any option strategy so once you open that icon on your desktop so you'll be getting your login screen so you need to connect to the internet to login to this software post logging in there is no need of internet so once in your login screen you will be getting username password under login here time to time we used to give some option strategy for every month so those strategies will be flagging here so these strategies as a buyer you will be getting these strategies monthly two three such strategies used to be given from our end so once you log into the system the software will the software screen will open up and in this screen you will be having different headings like option type strike price action number of lots premium volatility or implied volatility because while forming the strategy you may use the volatility of the underlying asset and iv the iv will be for options whenever you will be using for future you require volatility and you need to if you need to evaluate the strategy with the specific percentage rise in the implied volatility or specific percent fall in the implied volatility then that parameter also you have to fix it here so this is how you have to understand this headings and it has key buttons like calculate net greek and reset so where you will get those informations to key into the key in, keying into this particular system so all informations which is available in the nse india that will help you to form a strategy so in nse india website you have equity future so you can just enter on this derivative column and you just go for the suppose nifty so choose the nifty here and once you choose the nifty the nifty data will be loaded here here you will be getting one button called option chain so with the let, latest quote you will be getting this option chain so this option chain is going to give you all inputs whatever you are required for this thing so click in this option option chain also you require the future so option chain will give you all option so i am opening it in a new tab so that both the info will be there so here once you click on the other info of this thing you will get the volatility of that particular instrument nifty currently the time we are recording it is at 8460 having an annual volatility of 18.73 so we will be using one standard deviation formula for calculating the targets for your specific dates so for that reason only here the first strike price because the first column is for the future so 8460 i'll be entering the nifty so i am not going to do any buy or sell in this no lot size nothing i am going to give future i am just going to take it for getting the targets so i'm going to form a strategy without taking any position in the future so i have just entered the future price and volatility whatever i am getting on the screen 18.73 so this i am going to do because i need the targets of nifty future during my process of holding so this for that reason only first the future price i entered i am not involving future in any of my strategy hence forth lot size is zero volatility is 18.73 now i am now i am going for some put option say i am going for 18 8400 put option i am buying imagine i am buying at a price at a price which is flagging here 18400 put option i am buying at 67.45 so 67.15 it is last traded and its iv implied volatility is 17.60 so 
17.60 trading at 60 67.15 so 67.15 i have just taken this one 67.15 and i'm going to going to make 67.15 and i'm buying 10 lots 10 lots i am buying at 67.15 number of lots and volatility 17.17.60 iv is 17.60 currently and i am same time i am selling some put option of 8 8300 i am selling 10 lots same quantity 10 lots i am forming a beer spread 10 lots so my 8300 put option is got currently quoting at 38.60 here and 18.62 is the IV. So here 38.60, 38.60 and 18.62. This is the IV. So with this process, I am going to evaluate my beer spreads performance. Once I hit in the calculate button, it will say that how many days are left till expiry. Today I am recording this event on April 21st and we have an expiry on 30th April. So 9 days are left for the expiry. Last Thursday is coming on the 30th. So 9 calendar days are there. So 9 days I am going to hold it. I am just going to hold this strategy for say seven days and lot size of nifty is 25 and i don't want to give any user target here i do not know what are the targets nifty is going to make so i have just given the volatility of the nifty here as an input so based on this volatility of 18.73 and the price of the nifty future as 8460 using the one standard deviation formula by Software will calculate what are the targets my Nifty will make during this 7 days period. So I will just click on the OK. So click on the OK. So here click on the OK. So once I click on this thing, it is telling me for this particular, for this particular strategy, we are spread. Eight, 8400 put option buy and 8300 put option sell my net investment is 7137 because 67 I am buying 38.6 I am selling so 67.15 minus 38.60 so 28 points and 10 lots I am taking each lot is of 25 size so 7137 rupees is my investment so this will be my maximum loss if nifty goes up and off and it is closing in the upper side so this is what it is telling if nifty goes to 8528 level then my trend will change i'll be currently which is in the bearish trend it will be converted to a bullish trend and my losses will be 5876 I have not changed the IV parameter here, so that's why IV increment, decrement, all these cases I am getting the same losses and whenever profit comes, profit also coming same. So same way, once the nifty future goes below 8391, my trend will be negative. I will be incurring some profit of 947 and this profit is going to increase and it is going to give me around 17,900 profit if nifty goes to 8032 level. So during my process of holding, nifty has a 7 days process of holding, nifty has a chance to go maximum 8,887. In that case my maximum loss will be triggered 77137.3 that is my loss which is going to trigger. During my 7 days period of holding, Nifty has the chances to 
come till 8032 if it happens my profit will be 17862 so my risk reward if i will be calculating here 17900 my maximum reward compared with 7137 as my risk so same way during this process of my holding whatever the iv is currently now if this iv is increased by 5% or decreased by 5%. Currently, our IV is 17%. Say, after 2 or 3 days, this is becoming 19.6 or it is going to 14.6. So, if there is a 5% increment or decrement in this IV, then what will happen? So, just give that parameter, give that same values here 9 days till expiry 7 days I am going to hold 25 market lot I just wish to see it, the values at 8800 if it comes to or 8100 if the nifty fall down so I will be just calculating it here so in case there is a increment IV increases during my process of holding and price move up rise in the IV along with the rise in the underlying asset price means nifty price nifty also going up IV is increasing in that case at 8528 level my loss will be 5687 if IV decreases with rise in the price so nifty currently at 8460 goes to 8528 and IV also decreases by 5% then my losses will be 6060 so at each IV increment and decrement I have given the profit and loss liability so same time you can also can able to calculate the net Greek at what Greek we are now so this strategy what we have initiated it is having a negative delta of minus 1.98 currently so this negative delta is going to come to 0.893 or it is going to a positive zone if the price of this underlying asset is increasing and it has a gamma, vega, theta and omega different different values are there so here the net vega the volatility percentage is telling at 11.96 means during your process of your holding your time value having the probability to move by 11.96 or 12% impact you will get on the volatility form. So once you calculate this net Greek, change this IV increment and decrement to 12% because the net Vega is coming to 12. So we will have a 12% impact of the Vega. So that 12% we are calculating here and just hit the calculate button so nine days left till expiry seven days you are going to hold market plot size of nifty 25 you want to see the values at 8100 so calculate so this is telling that during your process of holding if the IV decreases by 12 percent with rise in the price price which is at 8460 nifty goes up and IV fallen by 12%. In that case, your loss at 8528 will be 6307. Same, same way, if your IV, if your IV increases by 12% with the rise in the price and price goes to 8528 from 8460, then your losses will be 5420. Similar argument, if IV increases by 12% with a fall in price till 8391, your profitability will be 1200. With the current IV of 17.6 and 18.6, your profitability is only 947. If the IV increases by 12%, as per your Vega parameter, net Vega parameter, then your profit also is going to increase. So this is how you can read this table with the incre increased IV or decreased IV. Now question comes, how we can neutralize this strategy? Currently, if you just analyze this particular strategy, 
we are getting the net Greeks, net Greeks, which is telling me that net delta is 1.98 currently. At 8460, my net delta is 1.98, which I do not want to make. Suppose I want to make that delta to be 0. Imagine I wish to take the delta to be 0. So for that reason only, I can take the future. So I can buy one, buy the future two lots because future always having as a delta of 1. And I will just initiate the calculation same way. 9 and here 7 days I am going to hold. Lot size is 25. 8,100 level I am just estimating on. So this says, once I will make this thing as a delta neutral, so two lots of future you have bought along with this wear spread at 8460 level. This says, your now the net Greek if you analyze, it is just near to zero. Near to zero it has come, which is minus 1.98 has come to near to zero. 1.98, near to zero it has come. And it is saying that if Nifty moves to 8528 level with the same increment and decrement of 12% in this volatility, then with normal volatility condition, it will trigger a loss of 2448. If volatility increases by 12% with the rise in the price, you will be having some 2000 rupees loss. Decreases, it will have a loss of 2,900. But one interesting parameter you can find out here. Once the Nifty moves above 8,650, you will be entering into the profitable zone. In current volatility condition, in incremented volatility condition, also in the decremented volatility condition. Same way, if the Nifty fallen down and come below 8,270, zone then also you will be at a profitable zone in case of a incremented volatility, decremented volatility or in the current volatility scenario. So if you just look into this factor, your risk reward has changed in a great way. So in case there is a range, tight range between 8600 to 8325, you are at a loss. But loss is not a huge loss here. Few hundreds are there or less than 3000 level it is there. So maximum you can say from 8600 to 8325. If Nifty consolidates in this band for 7 days, you have a loss maximum 3000. And if this Nifty manages to cross this 8600 boundary or fall below this 8300 boundary, it will be at a profit and that profit varies from 2000 to 2000 to 10,000 range. So this is, lowest case it is having 2000, maximum case it goes to 10,500 in a rising market. So this is how and if there is a steep fall, Nifty comes to 8,032 level or 8,100 level, still you have some profit, small minimum profit is there and if in case of a very steep fall, you have a loss of 3,500. So once you make it delta neutral, your profitability as well as the liability both will be managed in a great way. So that is the benefit of a delta neutral and how to make it the delta neutral first you have formed a bear spread in 8400 and 8300 now after forming the bear spread you found out that the net delta is 1.98 minus so I want to make it to zero for that reason only what we have done we have just added two futures previously it was minus 1.982 we have added two futures and once we added two futures here, so this delta become to near to zero. And once this delta become near to zero, the liability which was previously standing at 7,000 to 19,000 has 
come down the liability has reduced the maximum loss which was there at 7137 has reduced to maximum till 3000 means reduced by 50 percent same way profitability also reduced and in a particular range you are not getting any profitability post that range only you are getting some good profitability so that is what you have got in this particular strategy so this is how you should form the strategy same way you can neutralize the vega same way you can neutralize the theta also so this is how you can make utilize this option strategy software for your benefit